My Omega-3 story starts in Portland, Oregon, where I was doing a postdoctoral fellowship with Dr. Bill Connor. And Dr. Connor <clears throat> assigned me to study the effects of salmon oil on blood cholesterol levels in uh, healthy volunteers. And so I organized a metabolic feeding study. We fed people for a month with lots and lots of omega-3. And uh, that's where we got interested in omega-3 fatty acids. What's been interesting about the omega-3 story is that there continues to be a variety of disease conditions that seem to respond to omega-3s, which makes me think they're uh, chronically low and many of the diseases that we deal with are to some extent related to the lack of omega-3 in the diet. And so it's a, an endless variety of, of pathologies. Um, plus the field is fascinating because there's many different ways of getting omega-3 more and more. And then now we're measuring omega-3 levels and using them to predict uh, risk for disease. So that's fascinating too. I'm particularly interested in the fact that people don't know their levels and getting people to realize that you just don't take a certain amount of omega-3, you take enough omega-3 to achieve a healthy blood level. And getting people to understand that's a big step. Challenges for omega-3s are, number one, confusion. Confusion in research, confusion in the media, um, partially because of the research confusion. Um, I think that there's also issues in nutrition in general. There's just so much noise about nutrition and this diet's going to fix this and this is going to do that and it's um, it's just overwhelming and it's hard to know what's right which is why I like what we do at OmegaQuant because it's personalized nutrition and it shows this blood level this is where you should go and we can get you there. Um, it's one nutrient, it's not the whole diet, it's not the end-all be-all to, to your health, but it's, it's one important puzzle piece. And nutrition kind of was built up on fixing individual vitamin nutrient deficiencies, which we've forgotten about because they're fixed. We've fortified foods, we've done all these things so that people don't experience these deficiencies anymore. And so, um, Omega-3s are a little bit different. They aren't as classical. Uh, the deficiencies in omega-3s don't show up in the same ways as other nutrients, but I think we still have a pretty good case that there are some deficiencies with some long-term effects that are important and we can fix it pretty easily. So that's the cool thing about nutrition is you can fix these big problems usually without any bad side effects. Back in 2003, a colleague of mine, Dr. Clemens von Schacke, and I were sitting together at an American Heart Association meeting in Chicago after having just heard the results of a new omega-3 study that linked blood omega-3 levels to risk for sudden cardiac death. And as we sat and talked about the results of that study, uh, knowing a long history of omega-3 even up to that point, uh, we were convinced that there needed to be a blood test that doctors could use to measure the omega-3 status of a patient and then use that information to help manage the risk for that patient very much in the same way that a doctor would measure a blood sugar level um, in studying diabetes or blood cholesterol level and looking at risk for heart disease. We think it's terribly important to strengthen the scientific foundation for the omega-3 index and what it points to in terms of health and disease. And this takes working in collaboration with other research institutions. So we have worked with groups like Duke, uh, the National Institutes of Health, the U.S. Army, uh, Columbia University, Harvard University, Boston University, uh, as well as UC San Francisco, as well as Stanford. Um, there are many others, as I said, there's at least 50 universities we've worked with. The importance of this is that the omega-3 index is being tested in a variety of rigorous scientific experiments. And this allows us to have more and more confidence that the omega-3 index value that you get from omega-quant has clinical meaning, it has significance for your health.